Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Light. And we're here today to look into how the electrical system of your house interacts with conductive tile flooring and the human body. So to do this we're going to use a simple multimeter and a simple oscilloscope. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure the human resistance to the ground connection. As you can see we've uh, got our negative probe hooked into the electrical system ground and our positive probe is now in my hand. And we should be reading resistance but the reason why we're not is because I'm standing here in shoes. So I'm going to take those shoes off. Okay, I'm now standing on the floor and we're getting uh, 0.4 mega ohm right now which is pretty typical for uh, the human body in contact with tile flooring and it will vary according to how damp your feet are and uh, how damp the tile flooring is. So we've got a good connection. So the next thing is to take a look at the oscilloscope and as you can see right now in free air we have a flat line and we're on 0.1 volt per division. I'm now going to pick up this probe and see what it reads. So there we have it. We're actually somewhat off the scale. So this scale right now is 600 millivolts uh, full scale. And so we've got a little bit more than 600 millivolts right now. So I'm going to change scales. Okay, so on the scale, we're showing uh, it's probably 1 volt peak to peak that we have. This scale is uh, one volt per division. So as you can see that this waveform probably occupies one square in the vertical direction. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a one volt peak to peak sine wave that we got. In the past when I've done this test before I re-engineered the grounding of this house, uh, I was getting two volts peak to peak. So it's actually halved in value since I put the new grounding system in. And that grounding system I had it tested and it's now tested at 12.8 ohms to ground. And the National Electric Code says that your grounding system should be 25 ohms or less. So we're within the National Electric Code guidelines now on grounding. So this, uh, this 1 volt AC waveform will connect into your body when you stand barefoot on tile floors. And also if you have socks on as well it will connect in. So we're going to put our shoes back on. I'm going to make sure it disappears. Okay, so we're now standing on the shoes. As we see, the insulator from the ground actually makes the waveform go away. So I'm going to change down to the lower scale. And we're now on 0.1 volts per division. And we can see that there's just general noise going through the system right now to my body. And uh, that's the way it should be. The whole house electrical system is switched off right now. We're running on this car battery. And uh, there is no AC voltage present. We're just connecting into the ground system. And uh, this is the way that the human body waveform would look like if you lived away from electricity. And uh, the effects of an AC waveform on the human body are not fully understood. In fact, it's somewhat of a mystery that people haven't really spent much time evaluating it, but there is a clue to how this affects the, the body. From the dairy industry, this is called stray voltage. And the dairy industry, uh, they have cows that are affected by this. And they found that any voltage over two volts AC actually long-term will cause a cow to die. And anything lower will make the cow very, very sick. And uh, it quite often can inflict sickness across a whole herd of cows. And they'll get random deaths in the, uh, the herd of cows. So it's quite an important area of human health research. And it's quite surprising that uh, nobody really seems to fully understand it right now. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time researching this area and see what I can come up with because uh, I'm quite interested to see how much of an effect this can have on the human body. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.